mainly was uh, regarding the memory problems in patients and then specifically using advanced imaging and MRI to look into the changes that we might be able to do on patients brain using uh, computer programs and like computer games that patients can use to improve cognitive functioning. So mainly it involves first um, from, from patients perspective is, uh, patients needed to do some computer programs and so the aim was to look into brain networks and actually a uh, brain consists of, of different networks where you can use them for memory and other tasks. So what the, the main problem for patients is uh, more than half of all patients have some kind of cognitive problems or specifically memory problems and it, it really affects their lives. So one of, one of the, unfortunately there is no uh, drug and, or any approved medication like any FDA approved medication for this problem and therefore uh, other uh, therapies like behavior therapy, therapies or computer based programs are now taking momentum. What I did was uh, we are actually looking for biomarkers to be able to monitor these changes in the brain. What I did was we used functional MRI, which is a form of MRI which looks into the uh, activity of brain before and after uh, rehabilitation and the memory rehabilitation. We were looking at the connection between different brain regions. So brain regions actually change over time in patients with MS and specifically the connection and by connection I mean the activity between different regions we call it functional connectivity the way they're actually like two light bulbs that actually if, if you can turn on two light bulbs at the same time and then okay you can say probably there's a path there's a common path between two, two light bulbs uh, we have the same mechanism in the brain where two brain regions actually activate at the same time and unfortunately these changes in patients with MS and what I was looking into was the changes over time in patients who actually would take uh, rehabilitation and also patients who wouldn't take rehabilitation. The results are just uh, very preliminary results which we, were, we are still looking into to improve uh, hopefully the next uh, projects. These are all called advanced MRI measures and they're actually very different from what patients do routinely and unfortunately they're not very applicable in the clinical practice and for now they're only uh, based on research laboratories and also MR research based MRI scanners so uh, it, it could take a long time until we can actually see that patients might directly be affected but the way we, with, which, with the, which we can help patients in the actually to find how brain is actually affected and then look how we can change these problems. Unfortunately, MS is a very heterogeneous disease and we cannot actually pinpoint one stage. Sometimes patients, very early patients, like probably even at the beginning of disease, they complain of memory problems that they, they, they have that they can become forgetful and so on. Sometimes it's, it's not an issue for a while, even for decades. So unfortunately, but usually with, with progression, the problems related to cognition show, uh, come to the surface and you can see them more. But again, because of the heterogeneity of, of disease itself, uh, it's not, but in all patients, more, more than half of all patients during the course of their disease at some point they will complain of this problem. So it's very common. There are lots of studies, specifically over the past decade or so, and unfortunately, well, we have really good evidence in other diseases, not, not in MS, like in aging, in, in brain injuries, in a stroke, that they might be really effective. But unfortunately in MS, my results show it was effective, but I only included 27 patients. Other researchers have also used similar computer games, and some of them have been able to show improvement. Some of them have not been able to do that. And I would say the results are really controversial, and the main 
problem is because we are all using different approaches. So unfortunately, I cannot give you a concrete response whether this actually can be prescribed to patients or not. We, we really need more standardized approaches and perhaps a more unique approach between different centers and also probably a decade or two uh, more, more decades of research on, the, on this specific problem until we can come up with a final sol solution. The next stage is actually to first to include more patients uh, to tr try to replicate our results. We are again using our advanced measures and from a methodological point of view we can improve them from a mathematical point of view we can improve them and more importantly I think we still need to look at the pharmacological interventions which might unfortunately if we have no pharmacological intervention for memory problems there are not in MS as, as far as I know but in Alzheimer's we there are lots of trials looking into this problem and hopefully in future this could also be the case in MS.